Alrighty guys, it is time for the second video of the day, um, yeah, so I don't know when these both are going up, but it's Tuesday and we're opening the Aichi Sendo Legend deck, I need to find my scissors, where did I put my scissors down at? Can't see them on screen, so clearly not somewhere nearby, at least I thought I put them somewhere nearby, um, there they are, they were hiding under the Overlord box. Should have probably had this part ready, but hey, better to show that the deck isn't rigged from the start. So this is the Royal Paladin V Series Trial Deck. I'm probably gonna have almost nearly the same breakdown, so let's go over this stuff real quick. Instead of Kai, you get Aichi on this one. Um. With Blaster Blade, I have some original ones I'm probably gonna do a video on comparing the old stuff to the new stuff. And the new mat, um, again, super similar to the other one. This one will tell you how to use uh, the deck to its fullest potential. And use Blaster Blade, because Blaster Blade is awesome. Um, yeah, and then it has a picture of Aichi, a little description. So, let's get into the main part of the deck, which is what you're all here to see. And I'm most excited for opening. So, right off the bat, we see Blaster Blade is the main card of this, as he always is for Aichi's decks. Um, we're going to look at the gift marks first. There we go. So, we got, again, just regular force marks. And a um, non-foiled, I had to look at it from outside the camera, Blaster Blade gift mark. As stated before, The um, for every trial deck I can pick up, I'm going to try to get a different character card. And for every different force mark I can get, or any gift mark, I'm going to throw into my deck. Just because some people don't like it when your deck is misaligned. Which I have a video coming out, uh, How to Play Vanguard Episode 4, How to Control the Status of the Game. Episode 3 has yet to be filmed, and so has 4, but I already know how they're going to work, so... Let's move along into the actual main deck, so you get 3 gift marks, probably all you'll ever need to use, but still. You get 1 foiled blaster blade, well technically you get 2, and I like both these arts a lot. And, um, yeah, I like the foil of this, look at that. So last blood skill is when there are four more rear, rear guards, when this is Vanguard, it gets a crit. And when placed on Van or Rear, Counter Blast, Soul Blast 1, choose one of your opponent's rear guards in the front row, retire it. So you get four of this guy. Moving along, we also get four early Alfreds, right? Oh, um, an early Alfred's probably in the back of the deck, chilling. But you do get four of this guy here. Yeah, you get four. You also get four um, Star Drive Dragon. And Alfred's skill is, because I forgot to read it like a noob. Alfred's skill is, um, when placed, Soul Blast 1, choose a call up to one Blaster Blade from Hand or Soul to, to Rear and get 10k until end of turn. I'm not the preferred Alfred, even though that no one likes Canaanites either. We don't understand why, but we don't. Um, we get four copies of Star Drive, which is another rear guard card. If you have three or more rear guards, it gets 5k when it attacks the Vanguard. We are getting our wonderful four copies of Knight of Silence. And now we're going to place this over here so we can take a look at grade twos over here. Perfect. Um, we're getting... Three copies of Sage of Arts, Jugos. My personal favorite supporting card. We're getting three copies of Wingull. Three or four copies of Alan. Alan skill is when plays Soul Blast 1. Or no, Counter Blast 1, call up to one card with a grade less than or equal to to your Vanguard from hand to rear. If you called, draw a card, and this unit gets 3k. 
Not a bad card, Wingold. It's 5k for supporting Blaster Blade. Your standard PG, which again, you're going to end up ditching by the time the new draw triggers come out. Still not a bad card, it's just, there's just a better PG that frees up the slot. And then there's Ex Expect Peace Falcon. I cannot say that word, I'm so sorry. It's a Falcon card, Soul Blast, rest this unit, choose two of your rear guards, give them 5k. Could be significantly better than it actually being a 6k booster, depending on what cards you have in hand for the trial deck. And you get three copies of him. Get a lot of threes of your grid ones. So we get him as our starter. Um, Guild me. And it's draw a card on pawn ride. So we're going to sort of pick everything up from this point forward. And, boop. So you get one copy of him. We get four Bringer of Good Luck Epona, the reprint. Honestly, one of my favorites. We get four flow goals, the best critical trigger. We get four draw margles, which he lost his skill. We also get four copies of Elaine. And then, as stated, we get one foiled Alfred early and one foiled uh, Knight, Knight Squire Allen. Um, I think these are the only other two that can come foil. I wasn't honestly expecting these to be foiled. Normally they stick the foil in with where it belongs, but, um, yeah, overall, the deck is pretty nice, I won't lie. You get Blaster Blade, which is an important key card to the series. Two foils of him. So overall, in value, this deck is definitely worth getting. Um, as... As I stated with the Cargero, if you haven't seen it yet, there's going to be a lot of changes to it. Very few cards are staying here. Um, examples of that are the triggers. You can't really replace too many of the triggers with these two decks from Q4. They sort of filled those slots out with the other two clans because they need, to, need it. I'm sorry, guys. But overall, not terrible cards. So, yeah. Um, deck is valuable, and it is nice. I like the new imagery, I like the new style of the game. Um, and later this week, I will be playtesting against the Kagero trial deck, when I have some time to sit down with my roommate after, um, de-sleeving some old decks to put on this. But yeah, overall not terrible in style. Um, I like the art. The only thing I didn't like about these was the fact that we don't get the gift mark back. Instead, we're stuck with standard Vanguard backings, which isn't necessarily a terrible thing. But when you when you look at it from how long the game's been going on for, and we've been treated differently from Japan because of it, I'm just trying to find a stride unit. Okay, perfect, here. So this, this is a stride unit. It In the anime, it's meant to have a unique back. But in this, in the American version, all we get is the standard back. Which again, might not necessarily be terrible for some people, but at the same time, it just feels like we're being treated differently because we are. And I just wish we could actually get the real back. Um, so gift marks, it's a mark card. It's a card you use in the game. I think that's why they allowed plus cards um, one thing I see happening is people making their own, uh, getting stock print card and probably putting their logo on the back with force mark, the description of force, and then their own image. Um, overall, this deck is not bad. I would recommend picking it up if you are a Royal Paladin fan, being that you will need it to complete any deck you try to build from the booster box. There's just no physical way to build a complete deck for Kargiro or Royal Paladin from that. So, yeah, overall, I hope you guys did enjoy. And until next time, I've been the Silver Wolf, and I'll see you all later. Peace.